We're gonna do a story time Ooh, with oh, someone, honey. someone very special, someone very talented. Is that you? Oh me. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Yeah, we're we gonna go. do a story time with me. Please and off, the theme, me. going with cars and parking lots. The theme is a tragic relationship story. Oh, mm. So love I'm, gone wrong. But also, didn't you hang out this guy in your car in parking lots a lot? Yes. So, so there you go. it's it's with the theme. So this is a this is a story back to the time when I was Danny's age, I believe. <gasps> so what? Are you seventeen oh, years ago? <laughs> <laughs> Thirty years ago, I was seventeen. Fifty-seven. I'm fifty-seven. Years. Yes, nope. <laughs> I was seventeen. Okay, so that this be, is that would be forty-seven, right? guys. Never mind. Thirty. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not I'm not this guy. I've been in school for eight years. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Let's okay. Let's okay. Move on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, this is, listen, I was a late bloomer in every way except for career, early bloomer. Every other way, late bloomer. Very late bloomer. So, I did not, like... What does that mean? She didn't talk till she was 12. It sounds like you... (laughs) It sounds like you looked like a baby. It's just like everyone was mature. And then one day you popped into an adult. Well, not not intelligence-wise either, okay? But with socially... Socially. Socially. Late bloomer, okay? All my friends were just maturing faster than me, and I was just like... I just felt like so young, Still especially because bangs. of them. <laughs> especially, I never had bangs because of them. Like I hung out with, you know, they're all younger than me, so I was always like, I was a little young. Whereas, so you're them, saying it's our fault? No, I'm just Lisa always hanging out with me. She was, you know, the opposite of that. More Aging mature. up. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, I like to say a quick point that every time Christina retells our childhood, she cuts me out of it. So she's always like, you're in the middle. It was just me and I went on an adventure, which I was present at. All right, this is not a rant about No, that was relevant, though. Okay, so I um, had barely spoken to a boy. I was like, "Ah." and I was 17, and I was starting to blossom. So I was like, yes, I'm finally growing up, you know? Uh, Basically, like, the same place where my friends were when they were, like, 13. I was like, yes, Mm. I'll talk to a boy. So... One good thing, though, is that I am a bit of a psychic with boys. Oh, it's a talent. I going to say psycho. No. <laughs> what? I can say that, too. <clears throat> it's a talent. So, I was at Town Center, and my brother's Town Center friends, is the center, the center of, of the, the town. town. Okay, yeah. And um, so, <laughs> we'd always make up... Um, we always make up code names for the boys that we liked, especially because I liked a lot of my brother's friends, and I couldn't yeah. say I didn't want him to figure it out because trouble. he would be really mad. So his our code older name, brother, if that gives you an image, his code name was Medical Doctor because his initials M and D were his initials. It's gonna be real so, hard to figure out. Yeah, Monty Diplomat. <laughs> Wait, okay, so listen, I saw this dude um, out at town center, and he like drove by. And he like looked at me, and I'd never spoken to him before, but we made eye contact, and I was like, mm, oh. TM. he knew TM. I was like, he thinks I'm cute. Okay, I psychic. So I was like, okay. So then this okay. is where I this is where I date myself, as in not date myself, but you know Show where your you age. yes, <laughs> fifty seven. Um, I went on MySpace, Ooh. and I added him, and then Ow. he messaged me, and I was what? like, Ooh. okay. So then um, we started hanging out. Uh, I snuck out the back <gasps> door and I hopped over the fence of and our house. I stayed up Typical. all night scrapbooking until she came home. <laughs> it just shows how an innocent child I was, anyway. <laughs> okay. Making and a I... scrapbook for my best friend. <laughs> okay, anyway. this is not your story. <laughs> yes, it is. No, okay, I went to hang out with him and he was so sweet and innocent and cute and it was so fun and I was a obsessed oh, with honey. him and he was so nice so oh. i became obsessed real quick and i was like oh my gosh we started hanging out a lot and and um it was really fun he was so cute and then i was so young i was so and then he started like barely texting back a little bit oh. and at night he would just be like you know he he normally say like good night with a smile face he started to like drop the smile oh face. good night oh, then he Real. dropped the punctuation and i was Real. like you say gn ben <laughs> I didn't know. So no, I that was Lauren. G- I had G- I had no experience to go. To him. I had no experience to go off of because I was you know innocent young late bloomer lady. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, really I'm pretty way. sure this means he's backing away, but I have no oh, idea what's going sad. on. So I was like, uh, okay. And I don't know why. I was like, what the heck? I didn't harass you. I didn't stalk you. I didn't <laughs> yeah, do anything Christina's wrong. Smooth with the boys. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a vibrant scary. young woman. What is wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't thinking that. I think I was like, I don't know what's going on. So then, <laughs> then he, he just like stopped talking to me out of nowhere. Jerk. Uh, and then I was like, uh, you what? You drank that jerk stuff, Lisa. I know. Jerk away. Jerk be gone. 
Well, like, apparently so it worked. I was <laughs> shattered. I was like, why did you stop talking to me? Mm. And I he wouldn't answer me, so I was like, fine, I'm not going to I'm not gonna text him again. I'm not going to text more than twice without an answer. Uh-uh. Uh, never not one that. of those people. So then... The I was cold-hearted question mark. I was shattered, and I was like, I don't know what's going on. And then I saw him again in town center with this crazy girl who was nothing like me. She's this oh. blonde girl. I think she had, like, was purple hair. She, she was that different because she was crazy. Oh! oh. She was almost, Gross. like, yeah, kind of goth. She was kind of goth. She was, yeah. like, a wild woman in the ways that I am not a wild woman. So I was just like, okay, if he likes that, he's definitely not going to like my type. Oh. We are very different. So I saw that, and I was like, I was... Shook. Like, I was devastated. Yeah, oh. I was devastated. Just like, why is he with her? She's so weird. Her hair is really weird. But you know, we learned her hair, her hair was pretty weird. I saw it. It kind of looks like a bee's nest. We learned that. Uh, <laughs> is that a right thing? A bee's nest? Yeah, boys don't care about a hair beehive. as Cat, much as girls do. Oh. Anyway, it looks so like a bird's nest. I <laughs> was devastated. But I actually want to give this a nice ending. So okay. I was devastated. Was like, whatever. I'll move on. It took me seven months Years. yes i did keep I relate <laughs> i kept track seven months. seven months to move on from it and we barely uh, we probably were talking and like dating hanging out whatever for like one month dang. one month it took me seven months because i was so he was so sweet and finally i saw him later and he was like hi and i was like oh my gosh he said hi like i just saw him around uh, and i grocery texted store, him right yeah at the grocery uh-huh. store and i texted him i was like hey um can you tell me why you stopped talking to me like did i do something uh, wrong and he was like, no, you didn't do anything. You were perfect. And then I was like. But he still didn't tell you why. Yeah. Like, if I was so perfect, why'd you? Then why'd that you want to talk to me? What but, the rip? But I understood. I understood. Wow. Like, he wanted Too a perfect. wild. He wanted a wild, crazy woman, you so know. Crazy. Yeah. Which was fine. Like stripey skunk hair. So then, okay. then I felt better. I was like, I, I don't know. It just gave me some closure. It was amazing. It was the best. I was like, that was the best way this could have ended. And then I moved on. Love wow. it. So I had a good end. That's I mean, a good story. I think the best way it could have ended is if he gave you half of everything he owned. But <laughs> he probably I didn't know own a thing. That. Yeah, he probably owned like like a Chevy. Half Impala of his car. Is that like one dollar? He probably had a couple of gum wrappers. Half his car that he lives oh, out of. Oh, pizza. Pizza. Okay, that's enough. Oh, and he, then he tried to add me on Facebook like four years later. Rejected. Say blocked. Rejected. She drank the syrup. Finally. Yeah. Wow. She nope. didn't understand.